click on assembly environment set as ISO I have saved the plumber block folder in desktop so I'll open that folder first I will pull down body let me hide all this reference plane for that click on select tool go to assembly pathfinder reference plane right click and hide go back to parts library now pull down bearing bottom half let me switch off this drop shadow assembly tool which I'll be using is parallel so this cylinder parallel to this cylinder now I'll be using mate I'll be using this face with the face of body set as ISO now pull down bearing top half I'll be using insert select the cylinder of bearing top half then you have to select the cylinder of bearing bottom half then slightly rotate select this face of top half then you have to select this face of bottom half now I'll be using parallel command so I'll be just selecting this line and this one again set as ISO now pull down the cap I'll be using parallel I'll be selecting this cylinder of cap and select cylinder of bearing so make sure you select this one so it is parallel now now I'll be using axial align select this cylinder of cap and cylinder of ball so you can see here it has made it properly this gap will be 5 mm set as ISO fit now pull down the bolt M10 I'll be using insert so select insert slightly rotate select the cylinder of bolt M10 then you have to select the cylinder of body like this now you have to select this face of bolt M10 slightly rotate and you have to select the face of body where it will be going to meet again set as ISO and fit again pull down bolt M10 use insert select cylinder slightly rotate select the cylinder of body like this then select the face of M10 then rotate and select the face of body set as ISO now it's time to get the lock nut and nut first I'll be pulling down the nut select axial align select the cylinder of nut and cylinder of bolt M10 now use mate command I'll zoom this area so you have to select this face of nut slightly rotate and you have to select the face of cap set as ISO fit once again pull down nut M10 select axial align so select cylinder of nut and cylinder of bolt I'll zoom this area now you have to select mate slightly rotate select this bottom face of the nut and you have to select the 
outer face of the cap ISO fit and select now at the end we have to tighten with the lock nut pull down lock nut axial align cylinder and cylinder of bolt mate I'll use zoom area so this bottom face of the lock nut and the top face of nut ISO fit once again pull down lock nut M10 use axial align cylinder to cylinder will be selecting cylinder of bolt like this zoom area slightly rotate select mate bottom face of lock nut and the top face of the nut set as ISO and fit at the end you have to get the shaft like this use axial align now to mate this I'll be getting the reference plane back select tool click on assembly pathfinder reference plane right click show now click on this assemble use mate command slightly rotate select this end phase of the shaft so this is the end phase of the shaft you can see here that phase the chamfer end now you have to select the front reference plane set as ISO now click on select tool go to assembly pathfinder click on shaft now click on this mating distance it is 0 0 so the length which I have specified is 70 mm so let me do 70 by 2 so that is 35 it is moving towards me therefore I have to type as minus 70 divided by 2 so select tool click on select tool now the assemble has been completed let me hide the reference plane click on ISO and fit so you can see all the sub parts are assembled we have completed the plumber block so before saving it let me show the exploded view for that click on application click on explode render animate now click here automatic explode now click on asset button now click on explode so this is the exploded view so click on finish then click on return click on fit then you can save this so I will select desktop so here it is my folder plumber block so I will save as plumber block assembly click on save go to YouTube application to your smartphone in the search bar search for DMAC and press enter this is my channel logo if you click here you will find videos there you will find the list of videos click on any video you will find the description box like this where you can find the supporting link of that video if you like the video you can hit on like or you can hit on dislike and don't forget to subscribe click on subscribe button and hit the bell icon for the further notification of my videos if you scroll down you will find the comment section where you can comment on the given video